So hello everybody, welcome to Marvelous Fandom where we talk Marvel and geeky content and today we are going to be showing off my Marvel Legends figures as the first video on this channel. I just thought that I bought these Marvel Legends recently and thought I'd show them on the channel so we're going to go one by one and then show you. So let's go. Okay, so the first one we're going to be talking about is Taskmaster. Yes, this is the Black Widow iteration of the character. Of which I didn't really like in the movie, but you know, it comes with many accessories, which are down, down here right now. So we, it came with two different, well, it came with loads of different things actually, but you know, uh, trying to find, trying to find the pieces is kind of a hard thing to do, especially when the pieces are very small. But I basically changed the hands around. It comes with a sword, which is the main weapon of the movie, of which it, yeah, the sword doesn't really do a lot in the movie, does it? But the sword is really nice. It's got like a orange blade on it, which is unrealistic for the character, but you know, it, it does everything that it's supposed to be. It's a sword. It's got some grooves, as you can see right there. It's got some grooves and different different pieces of detail on it, which is really nice. Ah, he just fell over, but it comes with a shield, which is infamous for the character, but the shield is very small for him. It's it's just way too small for... Let's tilt that up a little bit. There we go. It's way too small for the character. It should be a little bit bigger, considering that in the comics it was actually quite a big shield. But, you know, it's, it's, it is a nice shield. It does everything it's supposed to. It's got a peg on it, which can slide in the hand, although it doesn't really work very well. I just find that I have to clip it on the arm, which just goes on like this. Just, well, this arm, it just clips on like that, like so. Comes with, it does come with a bow as well, of which I don't really use because the bow doesn't really sit in the hand very well. It kind of just, uh, kind of just flops there. Sort of like, don't know if I'd be able to make him hold it but it doesn't really it just see it just kind of flops there so i don't really use the the bow on the character much but it's nice to see it in the actual box itself but the bow is kind of nice and is is a sort of nice addition to the to the character it's got orange ends to it which is pretty pretty neat for the character it's not a real bow so it, yeah it's not it's not gonna be a real bow is it it's made of plastic but you know uh, it's got quite a bit of detail on it, like the arrow pieces, and it also comes with an arrow, of which just kind of just, where's the clip? It kind of holds in there somewhere, sort of like that or something, although, ah, there it is. It kind of just sits there, it doesn't really do much, but the bow is a nice addition, I guess. So moving on to the actual character itself, it's a really detailed character and I love it. It was the first Marvel Legends I picked up, but I love the detail on it. The the orange stripes, the the blues, it's very metallic. It's got some gunmetal grey parts, some light silver parts as well. It's, it's a really nice character. On the feet, it's got just the tease for the Taskmaster. Uh, get it? It's kind of ironic. But it's got some nice blues as well, sort of dark ocean blue and several different blues it's also got some silver well i wouldn't say silver it's more of gloss down at the bottom of his feet which is really nice if we move up he's got some satchels oh bit of a twist he's got some satchels on the side of which don't really do much they're just there for show this is a completely separate piece so it doesn't really do anything it, it kind of just sits there but it's kind of a nice piece it's got some Got some of that ocean dark blue, some gunmetal grey, and the belt is really nice as well. It's got some nice detail on that. Other satchels on the side and the back. When it comes to the articulation, it's got quite a bit of it, which I'll show off literally after I showed you the top part of the character. The arms are cool. It's got really cool gauntlets. T's right there. It's got T's all over him. T, 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 T for the Taskmaster. <laughs> it's kind of kind of funny but you know but the arms the gauntlets are really cool they're really st sort of smooth to the touch got some nice sort of orange print there there's a bit of a paint mark right there which I, which I noticed when I took the character out of the box but you know the pads shoulder pads are really cool they don't really they're 
they're not a separate piece and they're molded into the arm and it's the same on same on that side as well the chest piece is really really cool like really cool look at that look at that it's, it's like an iron man design now we move on to the head and the head is really skeletal like sort of like the character was in the comics tony masters which can he can mimic other people's abilities and they don't really do much of that in the movie but you know marvel marvel schmarvel but the hood is integrated into the head so you can't really remove that but it hasn't really got much articulation of the head either you can twist it side to side but you can't really move it up even though there's a ball joint under there you can't really move it up or down because the hood is in the way but and the sort of the cloth piece right here that's a molded part as well that's not removable it's it's integrated into the plastic so articulation you can do a full 360 on the arms it's got an arms sort of a arm swivel right there it's a bit noisy i don't know if you can hear that it's got double elbow as well so the elbow can stretch both ways Ugh, it's a bit tough but it can go up to there just don't do this because it kind of just looks like he's broken his arm or something the uh the torso can twist can twist around sort of like that oh that's that's creepy it can arch back it can arch all the way forward look at that he's broken his back and his legs it's got a double knee which goes up to about there which is kind of cool I guess head as i said not much articulation there just a little bit of a little bit of a twizzle we can look side to side and sort of punch his enemies like that you know but his feet they articulate back they articulate forward slightly and they can twist around sort of like sort of like that in terms of other accessories it comes with different hands so it comes with the black panther hands which are which are right there they look kind of menacing. You can just remove the hands, sort of, just like that, and then place them in like that. And the hands have got sort of, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got articulation there, which is kind of cool. It goes up and down, but it looks really menacing like that. If you want to see the box, here's the box. It's just got the Black Widow logo at the bottom. Taskmaster Hasbro. Hasbro made these. Marvel Legends series. Boop. There you go. Marvel Legends series. And then on the side, he's got the Taskmaster artwork. On the back, he's got other people in the in the wave. So you've got Taskmaster, Black Widow, Yelena Belova, Red Guardian, Winter Soldier, uh, Crossbones, and Spymaster. Oh, I've never seen that one before. You have a bio of the character, and you have artwork on the other side. So that is Taskmaster. Next, we have a character from Shang-Chi, which has just been sort of released and that is this guy right here this guy is called death dealer he's very intimidating i got him in this pose right now because his pose is really cool as you can see he comes with a comes with a hand where he's sort of throwing knives i thought i just showed that right now and it's a really cool pose that you can do with him sort of him her i don't know but sort of like this you know for the sake of the review i just put him put him back in his normal pose like put his legs back in you know just just normal pose but we're gonna talk about the detail on him and i love the detail on this character look at him look like the face detail everything just looks incredible but we're gonna start from the bottom and work our way up so the feet they are just to let you know this is a reuse this body is a reuse of the ant-man from i believe endgame but it's still a nice body to use either way. It's, he's got the gauntlets and everything, but the bottom he's got the shin pads, which are on the Ant Man body. But at the bottom, you've got this really nice design right here, which is fitting in with the sort of the Asian architecture of the Shang Chi movie. He's got some, it's got some detail on the boots as well, the feet, and if you go around to the, to here, he's got the blue legs and everything. But the waistcoat is sort of a trap for posability, which I'll show you later. The waistcoat itself is so detailed and it's amazing. It's it's got a nice sort of gravelly feel to it. It's it's like etched in there and it's amazing. I love the orange accents, which are perfect for the character. It's very comic accurate, I believe. Um, but honestly, I love this. It's, the belt is a fixed piece and it has some knives in there which is fixed 
which are fixed you can't really take them out but the belt is really nice it's got he's got the 10 rings logo on his belt which is an awesome addition to the character there's gauntlets they've got some immense detail there as you can see and then you've got some ribbons on the back which just give a nice nice bit of detail to him you know the head it's highly detailed look at that it's the face paint is done really well come on focus focus but uh yeah the face paint is done really well it's got a really nice design to it the back has got a ponytail which is accurate to the character uh some in some ways and there is a giveaway that it's the ant-man sort of body from a while ago in terms of posability there, there's quite a lot in the arms you you can go 360 go out to here it's got an arm swivel sort of like the taskmaster has double elbow pretty far for for this character then on the hands you can move the hands up and down which and swivel them around sort of do the okey cokey and you turn it all around the head could do a full 360 even though you're not meant to you the head does come off it's not meant to but you know it's got a ball joint down there then you can stretch it as you can see you can kind of stretch it and then you can look up and you can also look look all the way down sort of like a mini shang chi you can move it forward a little bit but it doesn't really look very good because he hasn't got a neck his legs you can kick sort of like that far just because of the waistcoat and then come up that forward double knee goes up to about there because he's got chunky he's got chunky boy legs his feet can they're not meant to click which i found but they can go up and down sort of sort of like that so that's the possibility of death dealer when it comes to accessories it does come with two hands as i showed you earlier it comes with the hand where he's throwing the knives and he also comes with another one where he's got a knife in his hand although i don't really keep that one on there i'd usually just keep this this hand like that then move him up like this move his legs out and make him make him sort of throwing the knives but that is death dealer if you want to see the box it, it's just a regular box it's got shang chi logo down the bottom it's got death dealer the hasbro marvel legend series as you can see with the shang chi logo up on the top the character art on the side which is actually a really nice character art. i like that then on the back he's got the builder figure so you can build mr hyde although i have put the the arm piece in another box just because i'm probably not going to get any more in the wave just because i don't really like the rest of them but you have shang chi wen wu Zhao Ling, Death Dealer, of course. Then you have the two comic ones, which are Civil Warrior and Tony Stark AI. Okay, so I saved the best character for last. You ready for this? I don't think you are. Yes. Thanos. So this is Thanos. This is one of the biggest Marvel Legends figures out there i believe just because of how mighty and meaty he is as a character hey he's very intimidating he you don't really want him the mad titan you don't really want him messing with you so we're gonna start from the bottom his feet are very chunky as you can see they've got a lot of sort of groove detail in there his feet also they've they've got pegs at the bottom in case you want to buy a stand for him or something like i'm not entirely sure what those are for every character here has a peg at the bottom i don't i don't know what they're for the legs they are very gravelly they're very meaty they're just very very kind of plain blue but it, it kind of serves the character well then on the belt this is a separate piece although it doesn't really move around a lot it is a separate piece and it's quite a nice detail to the character just because he is very comic accurate of course if we go on to the back wow he's been he's been working on his traps hasn't he look at that look, look at that uh he's got the top part right there which is iconic for the character the shoulder pads this is kind of flimsy but it's meant to be so that you can do articulation and stuff the arms you have the sort of the fist right there with the stone sort of holes even though this isn't the uh, hand where the gauntlet like the infinity gauntlet goes it's still kind of cool 
His arms are very thick, like very thick. He's been working out. The front has got the lines right there, which are very iconic for the character. And he's even got lines underneath. I didn't actually realize that. Damn. I've put one of the extra interchangeable hands on him, which is the Infinity Gauntlet. And the stones are really well painted. So, Time Stone, Soul Stone, then... I, uh, I forgot that one. But, but, you know, it's got all the stones on there and they are, they are well painted and everything. The head is just crazy look look at that there's a bit of a paint mark on his teeth but you can't really see that much the the molding of the head is just it's just crazy detail and i love it in terms of articulation you've got the feet so the feet can move forward and can move back they can't sort of twist uh that's where this comes into play the sort of leg the leg twisting comes into play so Kind of feels like a pepper grater, a salt shaker, almost. The arms, they they move out like that. They do like a Thor punch, Poof, where he's punching Hulk, if you know what I mean. The arms can move around sort of like this, but it's got a separate joint thing there. But it's kind of hard to, kind of hard to move out on its own. The arms move up to about here, so it doesn't really have a lot of posability unless you turn it around and it moves around to about there the hands they can move up and down sort of do like a like a fist up but it can move around it's just kind of hard because he's quite a big meaty guy if, uh but the infinity gone they can is about the same posability on this arm the head can move side to side slightly and can move up slightly and down slightly and you've got a little bit of ab crunch and ab crunch forward. In terms of accessories, Thanos does come with the spare fist, which is what is default in the box. Comes with an, the clicking Infinity Gauntlet hand, which I don't usually put on him, but you can do. And it comes with an extra head, which I'm not familiar with this head, but you can take the head off, obviously, because it comes with the spare head. But it's kind of... Ugh, kind of hard to get on, but it, it, it looks it looks kind of cool. If you want to see the box, this is the box right here. It's got the Infinity Gauntlet right there, which is the name of the comic. It's got Thanos. It's a very big box because you know he's a he's a bit he's a big boy, so he, he he needs a big box. I love the background on there. It's got his throne and everything on the side. You've got Thanos right there. I have to back it up a tiny bit. There we there we go. On the back, he's got the... He's needed right now. I paid $34.99 for this, so... A little bit pricey, but he's worth it. It's got a bit of a bio right there, and it's got all the... All the warnings and stuff. They should have a warning saying Thanos is a big meaty man, but... Yeah, that's the box for Thanos, and that's Thanos in general. Okay, guys, so that's the first video on my channel. Just thought I'd show you my Marvel Legends collection. I will be getting some more Marvel Legends very, very shortly, and... I will be unboxing and reviewing them on the channel. But thank you guys ever so much for watching my first Marvelous Fandom video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe what Marvel Legends I should get next. And what videos I should do next. But thank you again and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.